but um, uh, let's make moves. Besides just on stream off the side because I was running top 64. All right, you were there. And right. his his abilities are a cut above the many. Very smart kid. Yeah. Game one. We do have the link. We do have the Mega Man. And actually opting for uh, FD8 to start too. The fact that we are not on PS2 already is something that I was discussing with some people. It seems like more and more people are starting to feel, you know what, I love PS2, but it is a huge stage that benefits a lot of zoners, yeah. and we're seeing more people progress away from just going to their outright. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, I'm also main Link, and I've gotten to PS2 8, uh, game one way too many times. So people don't realize that like with Link, I can just run. You can just run, you can throw your boomerangs, you can get your bombs out on time without any like too much uh, attachment. Mm -hmm. And I think for Blitz Luigi, his idea here is, he prefers to have that one rounded path because now you don't have a platform to escape to. Exactly. Where even though Link can also do well here zoning, Blitz Luigi can now play a much better grounded game. And as you see, he's staying inside to box him out, throwing out these back airs and trying to force him off stage. But he's actually digging a little oh, too deep with that down air and he's going to get clipped by the up B. I I think it was a buffered air dodge potentially yeah. coming out there. On the last one, he was trying to air dodge upwards to recover. But good stuff for Ignis actually taking the first stop. Ooh, but an immediate here. answer. Can we turn the, the mics down a little bit? I'm spiking very hard. Um, yeah, yeah, just in case anybody in the chat happens to be receiving that same thing. Apologies for that, but we just fixed it. What do you think, in your opinion here, how does Ignis need to focus on trying to deal with this? Uh, like um, I think we need to slow it down. Um, Obviously, like for most characters, uh, Link kind of like, struggle with the uh, pellets, gets very frustrated by them. But if Link actually just like focuses on a walking and like doesn't throw it too often, he can actually block a lot of them with the shield and try to like, work his way in. I'm just not running every single time, but it's definitely a way to get in and also staying aerial. Like, you can do a lot of short hops from rank, which is a good thing. Uh, good. I think with the landing lag of Boomerang, you can kind of convert off of it to hit it better than your ground, I feel like. I like the fact that he's doing exactly what you just said. He's been progressively harassing him from uh, at just far enough distance that he can get in with the short hop nares to catch anything that might be you know, a, a bad defensive approach or aggressive approach. But Blitz is starting to actually remove that. And that right there is so much free damage because you don't actually lose the moves anymore. Yeah, you have to hold all so that. Good now. It's crazy. Oh, good early recovery. That could be. Yeah, Blitz is trying to make sure that with only the one trajectory he could go now without the Southern to get back now. It's a very explosive recovery like he just did. And this time he's actually going to make it back after that. Yeah, someone pulled the bomb up here. He saved it for the bomb recovery. He actually just throws it right out of him. Got him down there. Yeah, you know, it's it's something you want to do to keep yourself safe because you're trying to put out pressure while recovering when you have an explosive recovery like that. Good back throw, yeah, no, recognizing that air dodge. Yeah. Jump, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Be dead, I yeah, he did. Wait, actually, did he? I think he well. tech that. I think yeah, he did tech bomb. that bomb, so that helped him out. Could have died, but it was a good attempt to go for that. Does he get hit oh, on those? Was, he had the right call. That was such a that was so close. Blitz is head hunting off the side there. He really wants to just always go for the spikes. And that's something that's really stressful for a character who has this type of recovery. There are many people who just don't go off stage this early in this game, and Blitz is not one of them. That does not, <laughs> does not uh, let you recover for free. Uh, demonstrating right now. He's really aggressive with these down airs. I feel like I see the same thing from uh, 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 yeah, Ignis, I believe. Because, like, the Nair off stage is ridiculous. That move is lasts forever. It's really strong in this game. It's such a good move now. Just thinking about drop down here as well. He's been opting to go for the bombs, but you know, Blitz has been avoiding them. But Ooh. condition him in that way. Doesn't get hit by the oh, fair that, that could have potentially recovery. led to a good edge guard attempt. Wow, you're not kidding about the leaf shield. That is, oh, no. that is, not, that is so much damage. Leaf shield is actually insane. You remember to cut your head, uh, head to spokes. Like, that is, it's free. Like, the moment you get hit by, you have to hold all of it as long as he doesn't let go of B. coming in there and he's continuing to exert that pressure now we were just wondering about opting to go to there but blitz recognizing that he was actually going for it for a change and went high very smart this is mostly uh nair is uh if you're just kind of doing it uh, off stage run off nair every single time it's really easy to do after you can see mega man oh detonates the bomb i don't think i don't think he still had it out yeah um oh now i can now i can't hear anything but um you know that was actually a very smart idea Trying to go for the cross up, but Blitz Luigi has been uh, using out of shield options with that back air pretty much every time he's gone for the cross up over this first set. So I think he needs to be a little bit more wary, maybe go for the cross up and hold shield to actually punish him this time. Right. Because the up tilt is a pretty good punish. 
Oh, uh, links? Absolutely. Especially now that it hits uh, behind first. It used to be from front to back, now it's back to front. You, if you cross up Link, he can hit you with it. If you react fast enough, he can hit you out of it for free. Yeah, so I think potentially we'll be seeing that going to this uh, light. I think is giving clarification on the rule set from the looks of things. Um, I actually forgot to ask Cliff Wars to clarify to make sure that we're still using our normal rule set here. Yes, right? it has not changed okay. this week and last week. Because there was a couple people who were freaking out about the very well-received Genesis 6 rule set. I'm not going to lie. I would make one change, and then I actually really love the rule set. I would make about two to three, but overall, I, I get it. I get what they're doing. I get that they're trying yeah. to you know, do some research on the meta and see how things go because it's still early. But there is also a lot of tournaments that have already happened that have shown that some things just don't work. Yeah, I, okay, I can see that. I get why the community is in an uproar about it. But also, a lot of times people don't like change. So we'll see. Um, right. Smash Conference didn't look like it was too bad. There wasn't a whole lot of jank outside of under <laughs> Yeah, uh, but... You know, well, we'll see. I definitely think we'll be seeing a whole lot less stages at the majors after that because of just the overall discontent that this uh, the community has. Yeah, it's, it's a learning process. So got opted to go here to PS2. He didn't uh, decide to ban it, but I don't see a reason why he would. This is very much still a good stage for Mega Man. Absolutely. It's exact same goals like this in this stage. However, I feel like I should like a little bit more against Mega Man because he could, you know, gets away from the Palace. The Palace is such a huge threat in this game. Like, just getting around them should be a pain. So I can see the platform being coming out a little bit better for uh, Link than Mega like, Man. Yeah, that's, I think, the reason why they went to FD, because uh, as we were talking about at the start, Mega Man wants to box you on the ground. He wants to keep you grounded so he can force you to go in a linear approach. And those pellets are annoying as hell. But Absolutely. as you see here, he's actually opting to try and track him around these platforms now. Keep it tied under him. That's something people such as the Belmonts do all the time. Catches them going high, but the air dodge can get him back. Good read on the roll, but doesn't get the... Catches him with the up there. I like it. You know, Blue Luigi's been super aggressive uh, on landing. He keeps throwing out a lot of theirs, and that was the first time English Fox actually met him for it. Right. Yeah, Red yep. it, You know what? It, it's definitely a part of his crucial options, and if it continues to hit, it, keep doing it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, but, it seems like you got landing likes to be a lot lower on this game. You know, actually, I just, uh, I can't remember how the jump squat was for Mega Man before, but I think he might have been another beneficiary of the jump free, uh, uh, the frame free jump squat. I can imagine. Like, I'm pretty sure his was already good to begin with, but just having the ability to box short hop and pellet out any approaches that it just wants to go in for, very strong. And again, just that's just the, the way he plans to see all these stocks. He's yeah, smart edge guard. He uh, threw up the metal blade to force him to uh, cover close to the stage and just caught him with a down air. It's good though. You know, I'm a big, big approver of constantly going off and making people feel uncomfortable when the recovery is already like it, it's negative for a lot of players. You can't air dodge your way back very easily like before. You can't. There's no comfort zone there. Go exactly. off stage and get the people. Leffen is definitely onto something there. Yeah, no. Everyone gets left heat for like things he says, but he's usually right. Honestly, he makes a lot of good points. He's just aggressive about them. Yeah, there, there, there's some things that I, I, you know, people can definitely argue with him about. But for at sure. the same time. He also went and got seventh at that event, and he's making a lot of sense on these things. And Bruce Luigi uh, continuing to prove exactly why that's a good idea, because he wasn't going for those dares. And Ignis would be comfortable in just getting back to free uh, consistently. I like the uh, pressure Ignis is uh, putting out with Bomb. Just having it in the hands and just running around creates pressure. You get it's so fast to throw it at any point. I really like the intelligence level of this play so far. Just here in round he one, two. Crash oh, he, oh, oh he good did it. job. Right. He, he actually recovery. dropped it down and uh, he was able to blow it up. I think the crash bomber might have helped him. It might have, yeah. I met him back towards the stage. Yeah, because the... Oh, there we go. Getting the back air finally, outside of just the dare, able to get something uh, at the ledge there. I think... The back air is stronger in this game, isn't it? Uh, I, that I don't know. There's still... It's so hard to get yeah, all... I'm four, trying yeah. so hard to get all these notes on all these characters, but there's 74. Yeah. And we still have DLC to come. But I am learning as we go. This is the first Mega Man I've played, I've seen so far here. He's done a good job of it, but now Ignis really turning up a bit, actually played more aggressive. I like it. A little bit delayed on that fair. I think he was attempting maybe to go for an air dodge read. Big movement from Wednesday coming down with the, the leaf shield to keep himself protected. Again, another out of shield option. Yeah, that backer back looks so good. It, it really is. So it's super fast. fast. And, uh, you know, I don't blame Blitz at all for going for it, but Ignis Ooh, well has not made it at one time. And no punish on that either. Yeah, this is, this is looking very grim. The up tilt, this is scary now because of Harry up tilt at this point, sweet spot could actually kill with all oh, the rage. Oh, for sure. Max rage, definitely. 
Pop throw. Oh, a little bit late in the boomerang, but probably wouldn't have killed anybody with the boomerang. Yeah, you know, Mega Man very heavy. It's, it's something that he needs to be wary of. The next up throw, it, yeah, at this point, he should go. And if it's on a platform, he's definitely Gets the crack armor on his leg. All right, Smart leads it out. Oh, he's not going to be able to make that back. A little, bit too high, uh, a little bit too high, a little bit too far on that up B. I think this doesn't look like he's too happy about that to begin with. But, oh, well. Got to hold that. You know, it's, it, it's definitely a learning experience dealing with Mega Man, and I definitely understand the frustrations. Yeah. But go back, watch this video, see what you see where he was doing these options that you we were getting caught by. But every time you went for cross 